At IMAX, we have a long history of innovation. We're constantly looking at ways we can do things better. When it came to the development of our laser system, we chose a radically different approach than everybody else in the industry. We completely redesigned the optics to maximize thermal stability and ANSI contrast. And we did this by removing the prism, a component that has been common to every laser and xenon projector ever built. We replaced it with a patented IMAX free space light engine incorporating an INVAR frame. INVAR is one of the most thermally stable materials on the planet. It allows us to create sharper and brighter images on the screen. IMAX's laser system is more than a handful of innovations. It's a reimagination of the movie going experience. This whole laser project has been like getting back to our roots. We needed a test facility and we took over the world's first permanent IMAX theater at Ontario Place. It turned out to be the perfect laboratory. It had the huge screen that we needed, lots of space, lots of privacy. One big advantage of designing the system from scratch is that we were able to get really high contrast, better than any digital projector in existence. Contrast is the difference between the brightest whites in the scene and the darkest blacks. Getting more contrast means more detail in the image, creating an elevated level of realism that makes you forget you're watching a movie. Existing digital projectors have a certain range that they can produce, but the blacks aren't really black. You can still see they're very dark gray. Our projector gives blacks that are just dead black. They look like lights off in the theater. Part of the attraction of lasers is the color gamut, right? Is the enhanced colors that you can get that are beyond the natural colors that exist in the world. With the lasers, they're very narrow monochromatic colors. And we can make those colors of red, green, and blue ultra saturated. A larger color gamma gives us colors that we could never show before, either with film or digital projectors. You can expect to see more lifelike reds and neon that actually looks like neon. With this new system, we go back to the roots of IMAX and present audiences with that taller 143 format. A laser light source allows us to light up really large screens, much brighter than conventional projection light sources. Um, and that's especially important in 3D where the glasses often dim the image back. Because laser light is perfectly pure colors, it allows us to design glasses that actually completely eliminates ghosting. When the laser system was being developed, we had engineers working in tandem, also developing a newer and improved audio system. We added six channels to the already existing IMAX system, two on the side and four in the ceiling. And what that allows us to do is to create an even more immersive experience than we were used to. We had more points of accuracy, so we could pan within the room having six additional speakers. Because of the speaker placement, the tuning, and the time aligning, we're able to create a perfect 3D space that allows a filmmaker to place sounds anywhere in that space with great precision. We work with filmmakers throughout the entire creative process, whether they're using IMAX cameras or whether we're repurposing their content through DMR for picture and sound. What laser does is, is give the filmmakers the opportunity to push the creative boundaries of, as to what they can do and where they can take their idea. Laser really opened my eyes to things that I didn't think were possible. I've been a film guy for 40 years, and just last weekend, I looked at two IMAX movies that were made, one 40 years ago and one 30 years ago, To Fly and Blue Planet. Iconic movies, and the power of that machine is amazing. Things you've never, never seen before, you can see. I think that we've hit it out of the park. 